What is going on, guys? CH from Village Park Source. Welcome back. Okay, so we're familiar with jQuery now. We know how to source stuff in. We know how to deal with functions. We know how to grab the correct element, just right in here, how to source this in through our selector, whether it's a class or we've talked about adding a ID. But what we need to talk about in terms of selectors now is parent and child selectors. So what if we had a bunch of paragraph text? Let's go ahead and let's get rid of our button. And let's go ahead and pull in or change the method to CSS. And in here we'll say color. And just go ahead and give it any color you want. I'm going to use my orange. Orange, even though that's not really my orange. My orange is FF4800. And we don't need this. Should we get rid of it? Dead weight? No, it can stay. It's only five lines of text. It's not going to slow us down. We got rid of the button, so we don't need the button. We're not using the VP class. Let's go ahead and get rid of the VP CSS. And let's go ahead and copy and paste this a couple more times. Okay, so first off, let's see if these should all show up orange first. Open with Firefox. There it is. This should work. This should work. This should work. This should work. Okay. But what if we don't want all of our paragraph text to be, I mean, we can give it a class or we can just give it a parent child selector. So in this instance, we go ahead for parent child selectors, we go ahead and give it a full colon and we can type in first. I'm sure you're going to imagine what's going to happen. Only our first paragraph text should show up. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's reload it. And just like that, boom, first. It's kind of tricky. You can't just type second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. You can go ahead and type last. And you get the last one to show up. And odd and even. And odd and even is kind of tricky because it shows up in reverse. Because we give odd, it should be this one and this one. Maybe it's because computers start counting at zero. I don't know. I've never figured this one out. Don't quote me on it. It's just backwards. That's just the way I've learned it. Or if you want to do even, just like that. Let's go ahead and reload this now. Boom. So now it's really the odd one. So just keep in mind that, I don't know, browsers are retarded or there's a glitch in jQuery. Or maybe I'm retarded. I have no idea. But this is our child right here. This is the parent. So without this, it just defaults back to all of them. That's it. This is the parent. Just by default, it's going to be like that. So when we give it that colon, full colon, not semicolon, and then we give it first, last, odd, or even. We go ahead and create a child selector. Uh, just like HTML. Like if you see a big chunk of div, like a div paragraph text, and in that div paragraph text, you see a span that's only got one word in there and it changes one of those colors blue. That's the child theme, that span, or that child selector, that span. You get rid of it. It goes back to its default parent theme. All right, guys, hopefully this made sense. The microphone wasn't too loud or obnoxious. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.